Hey, what's up guys? I'm Beef with Tactical Baby Gear and you guys wanted to know the difference between these two bags. So in this video, we're gonna do sort of a side-by-side -side comparison of the Daypack 3.0 and the Mod Tactical Diaper Bag backpacks. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first. Now, obviously they look very different from one another uh, and that was the intention. So our original Daypack 3.0 backpack is our tactical backpack. It's got all the molly webbing and it's got a lot of those characteristics of the military styled stuff. Uh, and you know, our original like, you know, true to our DNA, the tactical uh, look and feel of these bags. Uh, and then on this side of the table with the mod, diaper bag backpack, which in mod, by the way, stands for modular organized diaper bag, but it's more of a sleek, more of a, a urban, more discreet style bag. It doesn't scream tactical and military. There's a lot of guys who we understand, you know, don't want to be overly tactical looking. When we developed this bag, that was kind of the idea was something a little more low key, a little more discreet uh, and things of that nature. So you get a lot of the features that we packed into this bag in this bag and then some, um, but it doesn't look as tactical, if you will, without the molly webbing and all that. And that brings us to one of the other key elements and features of the mod backpack, which is its modularity. As I said, mod stands for modular organized diaper bag. So this entire front panel is removable and you can swap it out. You just remove these clips at the top. You can pull the panel off like this and you can insert one of our other style panels. And now you've completely changed the look and functionality of this bag. Whereas on the Daypack 3.0, you've got the Molly webbing on it. So when you go to attach something like our wipes pouch or the dump pouch or any of our other modular pouches and accessories, you have to use the webbing on the front or the side of it to attach those pouches. Both bags will give you the ability to add patches to the outside of them, no matter what panel you have on the mod bag. And then obviously you've got the Velcro panel at the top of the Daypack 3.0. Some of the other features on uh, the outside of either one of these bags are going to be, start with some obvious features, right? So we've got the wraparound carry handle on the Daypack 3.0 and it wraps all the way around, uh, giving you the ability to grab it from the top or from the side whichever you feel is most convenient for you. Uh, same is true on the mod backpack. You've got the wraparound carry handle on this as well. And while we're looking at the sides of the bag, um, you've got the expandable bottle pouch here on the Daypack 3.0. Uh, you can slip a bottle right down in here and there's some additional webbing on the side that you can use to attach some of the smaller pouches like the dump pouch uh, or hook carabiners and stuff like that here. The mod backpack has a huge expandable pocket on this side. This is like a spandex type material. It's a very durable, tough material here on the side, but to this really expands. You can put some really big bottles in this. Um, otherwise, both bags are very similar as you can see on the side. Now on the other side of these bags, you're gonna see uh, you've got the bottle pouch on either one of them. So crisscross the bottle pouch on either side of them uh, to allow you to you know, put bottles in them. Uh, this one completely closes up so you can seal up a bottle in here. Uh, no problem, it, it expands. It's got a, some multiple gussets, so it is an expandable pocket so you can put slightly larger things in there. There's a gusset here to keep it from falling out of the front when you zip it all the way open. And uh, you could also leave it open for larger items if you're not using it for you know, drinkware. You could put other things. I've used it for tripods and things like that, which brings us up to this feature at the top of the mod backpack, uh, which is strips of webbing. These are not, you know, the molly webbing like you see on this bag. So pouches are not uh, compatible up here. We do have some things in the works, some other accessories that will be compatible with this, but you can use it to tie things off. You can use it for shock cord or bungee cord. You can hook carabiners to it. Uh, you can tie things off with it. You can use other buckles and straps and things, wrap it around, tie things in if you needed to do so. Otherwise we have some additional accessories planned uh, for this location in the future. And the Daypack 3.0, you know, you've got additional webbing on the side that I mentioned a minute ago, and then another bottle pouch here, uh, but you can add things like the wipes pouch, the cooler pouch, dump pouch, bottle pouch, you know, like all those accessories would be 
compatible to expand this bag even more on the outside. Okay, moving on to the back side of these bags. Uh, very, very similar, but very different at the same time. The Daypack 3.0, so the shoulder straps for starters are exactly the same. Everyone that's ever put this bag on has said how comfortable it is. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we kept the same design on the shoulder straps when we designed this bag uh, because it was just so comfortable. You'll see the distance of the shoulder straps at the top aren't real tight together so they don't cut through the back of your neck. They rest on the top of your shoulders and they're not cutting through here. Um, each one of them has stroller straps, which is a big deal because again, it is a diaper bag. Uh, so they are tucked into these secret little pockets up here at the top. So you can you know, pull these both out like this and then these would attach to your stroller so that you can hang it from your stroller and uh, get some of that weight off your back if you need to. And then um, they both have the sternum straps that come with it, sternum straps that come with it, and uh, waist straps down here at the bottom. The backside of the Daypack 3.0, and these straps, by the way, are removable from each bag because I know not everybody wants a sternum strap across the chest or the waist strap, so they are removable from each bag. Now down here at the bottom of the Daypack 3.0 in the padding of the back is actually a hidden pocket so that you can uh, stash stuff in here, hide things in there. It's just a concealment pocket for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, and then the back panel pulls down, and this is our iconic drop zone changing mat that you'll see here. This is also removable with this zipper right here. You can remove that and completely detach this and use it on the go. Now the backside of the mod backpack is a little bit different. Uh, there's no secret hidden pockets in here, but there is a trolley pass-through. So your suitcase, your roller suitcase, the handle when you slide it up, uh, you can slide this down onto it so that you can get some of that weight back off of you uh, if you're traveling. If you do a lot of traveling, uh, and you're rolling suitcases around and carrying your kids' stuff or, or just using this as a travel backpack at the time, that is a great feature to have. But you might be asking yourself, B, what about a changing mat for the mod? The mod backpack comes with a changing mat. There is a pocket on the back side of it that you access through the side. It's like a laptop sleeve sort of a situation, but that's where the changing mat is for the uh, mod backpack. So it's right in there. Again, same, same uh, changing pad design drop zone. Uh, this changing pad has a has an additional pocket right here in the middle, uh, so you can put a small pack of wipes, a couple of diapers in there, uh, and just grab this thing and go if you wanted to. The other thing to note about this bag is, you know, we've got a ballistic panel uh, that's designed for both of these bags. It's the same panel for both bags. They just get inserted in different places. I'll show you the day, the day pack 3.0 pocket in just a minute, but in the mod, you could put the ballistic panel in here with the changing mat, and there's even still room for a laptop or tablets or things like that in there as well. One last pocket to mention before we move on to the inside of the bag. The Daypack 3.0 has this pocket up here at the top. It is a soft felt lined pocket. It is deep enough for a cell phone. Um, great for sunglasses and stuff like that. The things you don't wanna get scratched up, but you wanna put into a pocket of the bag. Um, this is a great place to do that on the Daypack 3.0. On the mod backpack, there is a pocket at the top just behind the handle here. Um, sort of the same situation. It is not felt lined, um, so maybe you don't want to put your sunglasses in there if you're concerned about them getting scratched up or things like that, but there is a, a slim pocket up here at the top of this. If you just need somewhere to like throw something small and stash it away quickly and easily, that's a great place for that. Okay, so moving on to the inside of the bag. They both open up completely for a full 180 degree open so that you can completely open this thing, fold it flat so you can see everything that's inside of it. And I hope you can see how similar they are from this camera angle. Well, let's start with the day pack first. Uh, there's two larger pockets on the outside here and then a couple of pin slots in between. And then there's a smaller pocket, where is it? A smaller pocket just behind them that goes down uh, to here, right? So just about the size of my hand, kind of back here, right there, there's a pocket. And then just behind that, there's a full length pocket that goes all the way down the inside of this bag. And that's where the ballistic panel goes in the Daypack 3.0. Now there's two more pockets just below that. And then you've got a couple of mesh pockets here on the inside as well, which is great for your diapers and wipes and things that you wanna kind of like just pack off to the side so that you can get to them no matter what else is inside the bag. And then obviously get the larger compartment if you wanna pack it with your packing cubes, cooler pouches, 
changes of clothes, burp cloths, uh, toys, you know, whatever you might need for what you're trying to accomplish and whatever mission you might be on with your kid for that day. And then uh, you've got a mesh pocket here on the front of the, uh, on the back side of the front flap. This mesh pocket also has zippers on both the top and the bottom of it, and I'll show you why. This is, this is actually a pretty slick feature we added. What we found was just having a zipper on the top of it meant that when you open this pocket to get something out of it, everything would come spilling out of it. And it was super annoying and frustrating. You're in an airport, you're trying to shove something back in there, uh, or you're at the park or whatever, change is falling out of it, whatever. Uh, so we added a zipper to the other side of it so that you could open it and access it from this side, but vice versa. If you have the bag standing up and maybe you just unzip it halfway so everything doesn't come spilling out of it, you could use this other zipper to access it this way. Uh, so it just makes for a lot of practicality in how you use this bag on a day-to-day -day basis and keeping it super functional for you guys. Okay, now the inside of the mod backpack very similar situation. You've got the couple of uh, larger pockets here on the sides with three pen holders in between. And then there's this zippered pocket just behind that. that again, is about the size of my hand back here. And then you've got uh, two more pockets just below that, very similar to what you see inside of the Daypack 3.0. And again, with the mesh pockets on either side for your diapers and wipes and things of that nature. The back of the front flap of the mod actually has two mesh pockets. We were able to squeeze two of them in there. So you can see that right here uh, with, a, again, with zippers on both sides uh, to aid you in getting what you need out, depending on the orientation of the bag. I hope this answered some of your question and makes it a little bit easier for you to make a decision on which bag might be best for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, stick around because I will be doing a video to compare the Daypack 3.0 with its little brother, the Daypack Mini. If you guys have any questions at all, make sure you check out the website at tacticalbabygear.com or shoot us an email to support at Tactical Baby Gear and uh, we'll do whatever we can to answer those questions for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.